19th day of the month of Elul. And yesterday I've mentioned that starting from the 18th day of the month of Elul, we have a 12-day countdown till Rosh Hashanah. And up until the 18th day of Elul, we were preparing the ground, so to say. And from now on, we have to kick in and start uh, really uh, making a big, big change and a big effort. And the teachings of Hasidut explains that from the 18th day of Elul, since I have 12 days till Rosh Chodesh, or till Rosh Hashanah, then every day in those 12 days, I can do a tikkun, a rectification, for one month in the entire year. So, for example, on the 18th day of Elul, on Chai Elul, then I can do tshuva and I can do a tikkun for the entire month of Tishrei, the, of the beginning of the year. And for the 19th day of Elul, then today, then I can do a tikkun for the entire month of Cheshvan and so forth. So today I want to go briefly through uh, which day we'll do a tikkun to which month and what we need to focus on on that day. So usually one will calculate the beginning of the months of the year from Nisan because Nisan is the first month of the year. Tishrei is the seventh month of the year. So if we're going according to this order then the 18th day of Elul should be corresponding to the month of Nisan and then continuing from there. But in this particular method, then the first month that we're working on is the month of Tishrei. And not because it's the first month of the year or the seventh month of the year, rather because we're going from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah. So it's not going from the beginning of the year, Nisan, till the end of the year, at the end of Adab. Rather, we're going from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah. So now we're concluding the year of Tavshin Ayin Tet in the month of Elul, which means that a year backwards, we're looking here at the previous Tishrei, or the Tishrei of the beginning of Tavshin Ayin Tet. So when we're going through this method, the first day, the 18th day of Elul, will be uh, uh, corresponding and rectifying the month of Tishrei. Now, if you follow the classes that we give here every month, in uh, every, every month we have a class about the potential of the month, the power of the month, the energy of the month, where I explain that every month is nourished by a certain planet, and every month is nourished by one of the letters of creation, what is explained in the book of creation, Sefer Yetzirah. I always explain that every month has a tribe, one of the 12 tribes, this is also corresponding to the month, which teaches us a lot of what we have to do in that month. But I also talk about the sense of the month. And uh, most of us are familiar with five senses, but really there are 12 senses. And every sense corresponds to one of the months in the year. So when I want to do tshuva, and I want to rectify one of the months, then I'm going to go to the sense of the month and to see how can I reach to a tikkun of that specific month. Now, Important to know that up until the 18th of Elul, we were preparing, we were uh, meditating on what we need to correct, how, when, what I need to achieve, and so forth. But from the 18th of Elul, we gotta gotta change it into action. We're gonna have to start doing a tikkun, a t rectification. To acknowledge that I made a sin, that's one thing, but now I have to correct everything and to prepare everything for Rosh Hashanah. So it's important that from now and on, we actually, uh, uh, do something, that we create a, a rectification, that I initiate something. So I'm going to go quickly, very, very briefly, for each month, which sense it is and which date corresponds to in the month of Elul. You can either write it down or after uh, we're going to post the video, we'll put on the website and in the description of the video the order of the months and the senses. You don't have to write down. But I'm going to go very briefly uh, through it because now there's no time to explain in depth. What I suggest that whatever is not clear to you, and I'm talking about a certain sense, and it's not so clear and obvious what's the tikkun that I need to do, since now it's not the time, and if I will go and explain it, we will be sitting here for two hours, then I highly recommend that you go to the uh, classes that I'm talking about. They can be found on the YouTube channel, they can be found on the website, on Atzmut. And you can watch these videos and see 
where I explain more and more in depth what needs to be done, what's the tikkun, what's the rectification, the actual action corresponding to the sense that is connected to the months. So very briefly, we are starting from the 18th day of Elul, and that will correspond to the first month that we're working on, which is the previous Tishrei, the Tishrei of the beginning of the year. So we're going to go, we're going to be counting from Tishrei, not from Nisan. Very important, because we're not counting from the beginning of the year, like I said before, from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah. So the 18th day of Elul will correspond to the month of Tishrei, and the sense of the month of Tishrei is the sense that is called Mishush. Mishush is the things that are tangible, things that you can feel with your hands. With your hands, with, I mean, with, not necessarily with your hands, but mishush is when you're touching something and you feel something that, if I touch you softly, you feel, you can feel a tickle. If I chas v'shalom touch you strong, then you can feel a, 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 me hitting you. This is called chusha mishush, the sense of touching, of, of, of feeling. For the 19th day of the month of Elul, which is today, and that will correspond to the month of Cheshvan. And the sense of the month of Cheshvan is the sense of smell. Chusha Reach. Again, like I said, I'm not going to explain now what's the Tikkun for every sense because then we're going to have a, 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 a... The class will be way too long. Go to the classes where I'm talking about. You'll see... You'll look at the classes. You'll see exactly what I'm, what I'm referring to and the, uh, the basic tools, what you need to do for the Tikkun. For the third day, for the 20th day of Elul, which is Kaf Elul, the 20th of Elul, that will correspond to the month of Kislev. And the sense of the month of Kislev is a sense of sleeping. The next month is Tevet. The sense is anger. This is a big tikkun that we need to do. We all have a lot of anger and we, we spoke about it in the morning. The anger causes us to do a lot of sins. To say things we don't mean to, to hurt other people. Chas shalom to say things that it's almost impossible to take back. I have to do a real big tikkun on kaas, on anger, and that's going to be on the 21st day of Elul, Kaf Aleph. You can either write it down or I will remind you every day what we need to work on. The next month in line is Shvat. The sense of the month of Shvat is eating, Achila, and that will fall on the 20th, 22nd day of Elul, Kaf Bet. The next month in line is Adar. The sense of Adar, of course, is laughter, is Chok. And that will fall on the 23rd of the month of uh, Elul. I spoke uh, the other day about the importance of serving Hashem with uh, laughter, with, with simcha, with happiness. Then this is a big tikkun that we need to do by the, all the times that we didn't serve Hashem with simcha. When I spoke about in Parashat Kitavo in this week about the curses. So I said, it says in the Torah that all the curses that it's talking about in Torah are coming to us only because we didn't serve Hashem b'simcha, with happiness. The previous month of, of Shvat, I, when I was talking about Achila, about eating, in the class in the morning, we talked a lot about how many sins we can do with eating, uh, how much the Torah is elaborating about food, kosher food, meat, dairy, masrot, kodashim, and so forth, so many things with, with has to do with food. And again, now I'm going very, very briefly. You can uh, go into all the classes that I'm talking about where I, where I go more uh, deeper and explain about it. The next month after Nisa, Adar is Nisan, the sense is the sense of speaking. Big tikkun, everything that we need to do with our mouth. We lie, we slander, we cheat, we curse. A big, big rectification. We need to do a big, big tikkun. A big damage of our spiritual vessels is coming from our mouth, that's corresponding to the month of Nisan, and that will fall on the 24th day of Nisan, of Elul, the Kaf Daled. I will remind you on that day, many people do a Tarni Dibur, they fast, they don't talk on that day, to do a Tikkun for the Dibur, the sense of speaking. The next month in line is Iyar, that will fall on the 25th day of Elul, Kaf Hei, and the sense of the month of Iyar is Iyun, Iyun means to inspect, this is another big part of our tikkun, that I need to inspect my actions, inspect my thoughts and speech, and to do a tikkun for that, change that. Tikkun, I mean a rectification, to change. The next month in line is Sivan. The sense is uh, motion, hiluch. Hiluch is really walking, but uh, more correct to say motion. That will fall on the 26th day of Elul. The tikkun here is every time that I feel stuck in my life, that I didn't grow spiritually, then I have to do a rectification here, because I'm supposed to grow constantly when it comes to Torah and Mitzvot, has to be a motion, has to be constantly growth. 
The next month in line is Tammuz, that uh, will fall on the 27th day of Elul, and the sense of uh, seeing, eyesight, which is a big tikkun because we do a lot of the damages with our eyes. Uh, we're not allowed to look, look in, uh, in not appropriate places. And not only that, we tend to look at situations and we judge them completely wrong based on what my eyes are telling me. And I'm judging the situation completely wrong and then I become very judgmental and chas v'shalom that can lead to many, many sins and many, many problems. So that will require a very big tikkun. And especially for the ones, this is more... Uh, uh, connected to men when they fail in guarding the eyes. This is a very, very powerful day to do a tikkun for the uh, sense of eyeing and of seeing. And uh, anyone who fails in, in, in looking at the wrong places, what's called the Shmirat Ainaim, that will be on the 27th of uh, Elul. And just as, as just as a side note, so for example, if I take, if I fail a lot with looking at the wrong places, what's called Shmirat Ha'inayim, and I need to do a Tikkun. So on the 27th day of Elul, what I will need to do, I'm just giving a quick uh, tip, then that's the day that, I don't know, put a, a blindfold on your eyes. The whole day you can fail, fail with your eyes. You have to constantly look just at holy things, retail in the whole day. Guard your eyes the entire day. Now what you will do is not only a Tikkun for the sin of the eyes, but also for the month of Tammuz. Whatever you sinned in the month of Tammuz, you can do a tikkun, a rectification for the entire month. Next month is the month of Av. Sense is uh, hearing, falls on the 28th of Elul Kafchet. And that's another big thing that we fail a lot in the hearing, because we tend to listen to a lot of gossip. We tend to listen to Lashon Ara, and we, and we fail in that. And that's the same thing. So on the 28th of Elul, you close your ears. You don't want to listen to anything. Just listen to, go to, to, to uh, Bet Knesset, where you can hear the Chazan praying, that you can only hear Torah and Mitzvot, play a lot of videos the whole day. Nevertheless, the next and last month in line will be the month of Elul, which is this month. That will fall on the 29th day of the month of Elul. And the sense is action. So we are concluding the month of Elul, where I, even though I did Shuvah the entire month of Elul, but I still made a lot of sins on the month of Elul, and I need to do a Tikkun for that. What is the Tikkun? What is the sense here? Action. Our sages say, Hamaseh Aikar. The action is what counts. We don't convince Hashem with talking. Hashem doesn't buy talking. As they say, talk, talk is cheap. Hashem wants to see actions. So we are literally finishing the month of Elul, is what is the action that I'm doing? And that's how I convinced the Kadosh Baruch Hu. When Hashem says, I want to see what you're doing. Everything in theory, that's very nice. Let's see you doing it. When you're doing it, that's when you're able to fu fulfill and complete the tikkun of the entire year, the rectification of the, of the entire year, the tshuva for the entire year. And then we're walking into the, the new year on Rosh Hashanah, where my vessels are clean, they are refined, they're rectified. That's when I'm ready to be accepting the blessing of the Kadosh Buhu, where Kadosh Buhu will bless us with a good year, a healthy year, a prosperous year, a year of Parnassah and wealth and, and, uh, and spiritual growth and that all our uh, hard desires should be fulfilled in the best way possible. And like I said before, I went very fast and very short just to explain the concept. To elaborate on that, A, I recommend to go through the classes that I'm talking about, the monthly classes. And again, you can find them either on the YouTube channel or on the Atzmut website. And Bezad Hashem, maybe we'll do some other classes to practically doing it. But I think you can figure it out by yourself. If it's a sense of anger, anger is on the month of Tevet, will fall on the 21st day of Elul, then you have to do Tikkun for anger for that day. And anger is a big part of our life. Same thing, like I said, on Shvat, is eating, falls on the 22nd of Elul. So we do a lot of sins with our, with our mouth when it comes to eating, not to anything else, just eating. And you can refer to the class I gave this morning about Shira Shirim with Zerah Shimshon, talking about how many sins and how many mitzvot we have in the Torah, just with eating. So that's a big part of our life. So I know some of them don't make much sense, like of the month of Cheshvan today, in the sense of smelling. But again, I do elaborate on that in the longer classes. But the point is to take the opportunity that I have 12 days in the month of uh, Elul. Now these 12 days, that every day, if I do the right tshuva, I can do a rectification for the entire month that corresponds to this day. And by that, I come to the end of Elul, and I did tshuva for the entire year, coming clean. My hands are clean, my heart is clean, I did my tshuva. Hopefully Hashem will accept our tshuva, 
and Bezat Hashem bless us with a beautiful, healthy, prosperous, happy New Year.